Good morning, my friends. I made this little video for all of you who are my clients in my Healing Hands practice. I made this video so you could just hear my voice and that it could bring you a moment of peace, a moment of calm, a moment of breath. Right now, what I want to say to you is your brain is the strongest thing you have. The belief in the power of your brain, the power of your thoughts, and the power of your words is going to get you through this trying time. So the first thing that I want to say to you is take a moment, get some of your stress relieving oils and put them on. Use the tools that you have and the tools that I have taught you. Y'all, if you know me, you know Valor is my conversion oil. It's the oil that made me believe in the power of these little droplets. It's the oil that after I had those two cancer diagnoses and I was so scared, I was in a place of so much fear, I needed Valor, I needed strength, I needed fearlessness. So it became my everyday companion. And I encourage you, came in your premium starter kit if you ordered recently. If you haven't, today's a great day to place an order. Get yourself some Valor. And every time you put it on, set an intention as those beautiful blue droplets drop into the palm of your hand. Rub your hands together. Create a scent tent. Breathe deeply, breathing deeply lifts that aroma up to the receptors at the top of your nose and takes them up to your brain where your brain can say, I have strength, I have courage, I have fearlessness. I have a body whose job it is, is to keep me well. I trust my body's ability to do that. And breathe it in. So calm yourself. Your children are picking up on your energy. Your pets are picking up on your energy. Your spouses are picking up on your energy. Your brain is hearing every thought you think and every word you speak. So choose your thoughts and choose your words wisely. Our brains learn by repetition. So the more we think it, the more we repeat it, the more we say it, the more our brain wants to deliver that because it sees that as our desire. So if we are cycling into negative thoughts, fear-filled thoughts, panic-driven thoughts, our brain is going there and it's going to ramp up the central nervous system and create that fight or flight or freeze. And some of us do feel frozen right now. So bring yourself back into a place of calm. Sometimes we use positive affirmations. I am calm. I am healthy. I am strong. Sometimes it's difficult to say the I am statements. And so I would encourage you, if you're having difficulty with the I am statements and you can't take it to a place of believing it as you're saying it, then preface it with may I. May I be calm. May I feel safe. May I trust my body. May I feel strong, healthy, vital, and alive. May I believe that I am strong, healthy, vital, and alive. Bring it to a may I until you can make it an I am. I hope that is very helpful to you. So the remember that the brain's job is to deliver what you're asking for. So ask for strength, ask for calmness, ask for peace in this time. I would suggest peace and calming, stress away, valor, one of my personal favorites, Tranquil Roll-On, 
somewhere behind me are my CBD products. I was talking about those with someone and I put my Calm Roll-On up there, but the CBD Calm Roll-On is phenomenal. And then one last little tip. By the way, you'll be getting more education from me as the day goes on. Um, I will be sending other education out to my oilers. So if you are a Healing Hands client as well as an oiler, be looking for another video on some of the special bundles that are coming out today. Um, and also a little education on what I'm doing to support my wellness. And I encourage you to do all that you can do to support your wellness. I hear today is a great day to place an order with Young Living because lots of things that have been out of stock are coming back into stock today. So be watching for that. A favorite oil of mine is bergamot. Bergamot is a citrus fruit, kind of in the orange family. And for those of you who like Earl Grey tea, like me, it is the main flavor profile in Earl Grey tea. So when you smell it, you may get a little whiff of that tea-like aroma. Bergamot is an interesting oil because it's very mood elevating, but also very calming. And I'm gonna teach you a little technique that uses an acupressure point and the meridians. And what you will do, let's see if I can show you, is you can take your pinky finger or your ring finger and you're gonna follow that curve going into the ditch and you're gonna go right into that spot. It's right above that first fold tucked right in that area there, okay? So I want you to do this with bergamot if you have it, with peace and calming, with lavender, with Idaho balsam fir, with any oil that feels like it grounds you and brings you into a more centered place. So I'm gonna drop this into my palm. I'm gonna get my ring finger in it and I'm gonna put some on my left ring finger as well. And then never deny yourself the scent tent. And then follow the folds of your ears up into that little indentation and close your eyes and just breathe. This point in the ears is a calming, almost sedating point. And just breathe. You can be repeating your affirmations. I am strong, healthy, vital, and alive. We are strong, healthy, vital, and alive. May we find peace. May we find joy. May we find health. May we feel strength. May we use this time to find unity, compassion, and caring. May we use this time to use our voices to reach out as extension of love. Ah. Well, you can open your eyes if they were closed. So my friends, if you need time with me, I am available. I don't believe I need to, at this point, practice social distancing for one-on-one -on -one time with you. So I am available to meet with you. I am also available for phone sessions, for distance healing. So you let me know what you need, and I am here for you. I will be in touch.